everybody, it's Taff and today's video is going to be a really fun one. I got a Marc Jacobs beauty box from Influencer. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and then I'm going to do a first impressions review of the item that's inside to open the box. So I'm opening the box and this is the mascara. They actually, it looks like sent me a full size. I was not expecting that. So thank you so much Influencer and Marc Jacobs. This is what it looks like, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like, what are they called? Like a, not an octagon, it's a six-sided shape. Right off the bat, I really like the sleek packaging, and I think it's really original. Let's also go ahead and take a look at the wand. It looks like it kind of gets a little smaller and then it gets bigger again. It looks like it's going to be super volumizing. I'm going to put mascara on one eye do a comparison and then I'm going to curl the other side of my lashes. That way when I check in at the end of the day you can see how it holds curled versus no curl. So as I said I'm going to start out by putting a couple of coats on this lash and just so you know I am usually looking like in the mirror like an inch from the mirror when I'm putting on mascara. So doing this on camera is really difficult. It is making my lashes look pretty good. I'm not complaining. And I just realized that as much as I really like the eyeliner that I used, it might get in the way. So I hope that's not the case. And then I'm gonna wait a minute for that to dry while I do the bottom lashes. It's really hard to do that without looking down for me. I feel like this is really giving the bottom lashes some nice volume. I really love putting mascara on my bottom lashes and just making all my lashes go All right, so that is what one coat looks like compared to no mascara. I personally like slightly more defined volume, but I feel like this looks really good. So far, the coverage and the look really reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, apply mascara to this eye, and come back so you can see the comparison. Okay, so I curled the lashes on this eye and applied mascara. And as you can definitely see, those lashes are a little perkier, but it doesn't make a huge, huge difference. But of course, applying mascara is just part of the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear the mascara throughout the day and let you know what my experience is, how it wore, and if I would recommend it. I am back to give you my final thoughts on the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see my eyelashes and let's talk about these results. First, I wanna start out by saying I don't really see that big of a difference between the eyelash that I curled and the eyelash that I didn't. Let me know if you see something different in the comments down below. Also, I will note that because I put on more dramatic eyeliner, of course, you might not be able to see the lashes as well as you could if I didn't have any eyeliner on at all. The lashes have definitely drooped a little bit from when I first put the mascara on, but all in all, I think it did a pretty good job. There's definitely still some volume there, and my lashes still look pretty good they just don't look so va va voom anymore after eight or nine hours I will note that I did get ever so little bit of smudging under my eyes and I did get a couple flakes the big question on your minds is will I purchase another tube of this mascara now I'm a mascara junkie I like to try a ton of different mascaras and I don't get too set in my ways so with that being said I probably personally will not buy another full tube but if I'm able to get my hands on a mini tube will probably pick it up again. I think it's really great. I think I have run into a couple other high-end volumizing mascaras that do just as good a job, if slightly better of a job, but I definitely think that this product holds up and is worth the high-end price. I know that Marc Jacobs is a great brand, and I think that this mascara definitely represents the brand well. Now that you know what I think of this mascara, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe for more makeup and beauty videos. Also, please check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I'll see you beauties next time. Bye.